Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Kyle here with KGTV. And uh, today I wanted to make a little follow-up video to the video I made yesterday uh, talking about the Stadia Pro games that are going to be coming out in January. Um, I actually had some of my information wrong, so I took the video down and I'm making this one to kind of correct the issues that I had with the other one. Um, I just didn't want the video getting out there and people being misinformed. So once I looked further into a few things, um, I realized I had some of the information wrong, which um, kind of changes my opinion very slightly. But uh, basically the thing that I got incorrect was I said that one of the games that were coming out for Stadia Pro in January was Shadow of the Tomb Raider, but actually it's Rise of the Tomb Raider, which is the second um, Tomb Raider game of the reboot series. So I misspoke and I had everything like even on my thumbnail for the video, I had it as Shadow of the Tomb Raider. It's supposed to be Rise of the Tomb Raider. Um, so I just didn't want people seeing that video and being misinformed. So I thought it might just be better to take it down and, you know, remake it uh, with the correct information. So this is the one that we're actually going to get. And if you happen to actually see that other video, I thought it was odd that they would give us Shadow of the Tomb Raider and then make us pay for Rise of the Tomb Raider. And I even made a statement saying that it would almost make more sense to give us Rise of the Tomb Raider and then give us a discount on Shadow of the Tomb Raider, which is what they're doing. So that does make a little bit more sense to me. Um, and we're also, that information was correct that we're getting Thumper. So uh, I wanted to just make this video to correct <laughs> that error on my part. And I, and I apologize for that. And sorry if someone was misinformed by my video. Um, I still think it's weird that they picked uh, two Tomb Raider games and they didn't maybe give us a little bit of variety. But if you happen to catch the other video I did, I said that I could kind of see where they're coming from by giving us Rise of the Tomb Raider since they already gave us um, the Tomb Raider Definitive Edition. So... I don't know. I can kind of see both sides of it, but still I would have liked to get something that, you know, we've never really played before. Uh, just because you're kind of putting all your fish in one basket if you give two Tomb Raider games. Because if someone doesn't really care about Tomb Raider, they're not going to want to play the any of the other ones either. Um, I know that they were good games and they got good reviews for the most part, and people seem to like them, but they are kind of older games, so I just think if you really like Tomb Raider, you've probably already played all three of them. Um, I tried the first one uh, when it came out with Stadia at the beginning, and I just couldn't really get back into it. It just seemed pretty dated. Um, I didn't have a great time with the online experience, so... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, some people might enjoy that, they, that they're that they giving us Rise of the Tomb Raider. Um, I just wish it would have been two games that weren't even on Stadia. Uh, because in the other video, I also mentioned that people were asking for a refund because they've purchased, you know, Rise of the Tomb Raider or Thumper. And now we're getting them not for free, but, you know, we can play them uh, in January for, for Stadia Pro. So I can kind of see where people are coming from with being upset about that. Um, and then another thing I wanted to touch up on is that um, someone had said, I was under the impression that, uh, and it's probably wrong on my part, that the Stadia Pro for the Founders Edition uh, buyers would be ending um, in January. I was just thinking that because of November, December, January. But if you actually are taking like a literal month from the time that most people got it, that would put us into February, which someone commented on my other video saying that they saw somewhere that it would be February um, would be when our uh, Founders Edition Stadia Pro subscriptions would be ending. 
which if you look at it that way, that actually does kind of make sense. So I may have been uh, wrong on that as well. Uh, I've tried finding some information on that, but I haven't been able to find a definitive answer on that. So I might reach out to um, the Stadia team on Twitter or something and see when that actually will be. But I would assume if we're getting like a legitimate month and Stadia didn't even come out until November 19th, that that actually would put us into February. So if I can get further clarification on that, um, I'll do a follow-up video or I'll put an update in the description saying that. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to make this video for you guys and uh, put the correct information in there. So I appreciate you guys watching and understanding why I had to make a follow-up video on this. And um, let me know what you think. Let me know if you like the choice of games that they're giving us for January or if you wish that they picked something, you know, that hasn't been shown on Stadia yet. Uh, if you like the video, uh, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, it really helps out and makes the video more viewable for other people. And um, I'll have some more follow-up videos on Stadia in the coming days. Uh, I want to do a video testing um, my Chrome uh, browser gameplay versus the Chromecast on Wi-Fi and then versus the Chromecast on Ethernet. Uh, I've had really good uh, success using the Chrome browser, but whenever I used uh, Chromecast the one time, uh, streaming it in 4K over Wi-Fi, uh, I was playing Destiny 2, and it just was not that great of an experience. I noticed a lot of... wasn't like super bad input delay or input lag, whatever you want to call it, but it was definitely enough that would make it hard to compete, you know, competitively. So um, I'm actually, I just ordered a new modem the other day that, I, that has more ports on it. So I'm going to be hardwiring my Chromecast Ultra. And I'm going to do uh, another test and see if that makes the gameplay any better. I hope it does because I would like to play some of these games in... 4k i know that a lot of people have been upset about it not being real 4k or whatever but uh i don't even care so much about it being true 4k uh but if it does look a tiny bit better than in the chrome browser i'd be pretty excited about that so um yeah thanks for watching consider subscribing and uh, I'll have more videos here coming out soon about Stadia and some other things. So take it easy, and I'll see you in the next one.